I'm Tim Washer at the Internet of Things World Forum. We're speaking with Blake Moret from Rockwell Automation today. Blake, thanks for joining us. Tim, thanks. It's good to be here. Tell us a little bit about how IoT has impacted Rockwell Automation. Well, Rockwell Automation is a, a factory automation company. We provide uh, productivity solutions for manufacturers around the world. And the IoT really reinforces our message of the connected enterprise. So having integrated processes uh, creates a higher level of productivity for these manufacturers. And how are you helping some of these manufacturers meet that end? Well, there, there's a lot of things. There's basic uh, uh, real-time processes that require control on the factory or the mill floor, but there's also the opportunity to scale those processes to provide additional information that can help people make intelligent decisions outside of the four walls of the factory. And so processes such as remote monitoring will bring a new value to these, to these uh, producers. So from a, a connected enterprise standpoint, bringing IoT to the enterprise, mm -hmm. what other pieces need to take place to get to results that are going to make a difference? Well, you, you, you start with smart products. So the, uh, the sensors and the products that are controlling the basic processes on the floor, if they generate the data that can be communicated securely and turned into actionable information, then we can provide that sort of uh, framework for that information to be passed up to help people recognize, for instance, when a fault is about to occur and to be able to avoid unplanned downtime. Now, do you have a, a customer that comes to mind where you think you've been able to make a difference on the downtime side or any of it? Can I give you two? We'll take two. Okay, um, a couple of examples that come to mind are uh, a, uh, uh, an oil producer uh, and their basic process is to uh, use electrical submersible pumps to pump the oil up from uh, a location just off the Kenai Peninsula in Alaska. And uh, our equipment is controlling the speed of that pump. And when they actually had an outage, we were able to analyze the information that was present, the parameters that were present at the time of the fault and tell them what to look for to be able to get their process up and running much faster than uh, they would otherwise have been able to do because you can't have somebody who's expert on all aspects of their technology sitting right there local to the facility. And so we think we saved them. In fact, they think that we saved them about six hours of downtime in that process. In another case, we were actually able to avoid downtime by looking at the temperature rise on a drive system that was part of a paper making process. And we were able to notice this trend from a remote location, call the mill, and tell them that they needed to get additional cooling onto that piece of their process to be able to continue to run until they could schedule downtime and look deeper into the, uh, the source of the fault. And they were able to pull that off? They were, they were. That was a recent example. So, uh, th so it's having true, real uh, impact on businesses to even today? It's bringing very tangible results and it's saving uh, these producers money. Okay, great. Yeah. Well, Blake, thank you so much for stopping by. It's good, great to be here. Thanks for asking. Thank you for tuning in.